Hello viewers, our today topic is comma uses. This is one of the punctuation marks, very important. Comma in a series, comma in a series. We use comma in a series. Example given: Men, women, and teenagers are working here. Men, women, and teenagers are working here. You can see this is series. So this is men. Then we have another word. We can use a number of words, okay? And to set up them, we should use comma. This is one use. The second use: use comma between two or more adjectives that modify the same noun. Use comma between two or more adjectives that modify the same noun. Example given: a powerful Pakistani hitter was Shahid. Afri. A powerful Pakistani hitter was Shahid Afri. So, so you can see that this is adjective, this is adjective, and these adjectives, you know, they are you know separated with the help of what? With the help of this comma. Okay. The third rules: commas with introductory elements. Okay. You can see. Except the cases may be there, they will discuss okay later. Comma with introductory elements. Example. Now this yes is an introductory. Suppose are you Indian? If you are Indian, you say yes. If you are not, you say no. So these are introductory elements. So look here elements. So these are introductory elements. So yes, no, eventually, in short, and so on. In writing, in writing we always use comma, okay, with introductory elements, okay. Case number four, use a comma after a verbal phrase at the beginning, except in the case, okay, you can see our sentence. Example, to teach English online, I always make efforts. To teach English online, so this is verbal phrase, okay, verbal. So this is verbal. All infinitive, you know, they are verbal, okay. They does they do the function of what? They do the function of a noun, but their structure is of a verb, so a verbal phrase. Okay. Here to teach English online, I always make efforts. So you can see comma. So comma is required here. Okay. Then case number five use it mean point number five use comma after an introductory a verb or a verb class. Use comma after an introductory a verb or introductory class at the beginning of a sentence. Example: Happily she danced and made the audience happy. So here you can see that this is a verb. Okay, a verb class. So suppose because because she was sick, she was sick. Then comma is required. Comma is required. Okay, so. In conditional sentences, if you come late, so comma is required. Okay. The next point is use a comma to set up a parenthetical expression. Parenthetical expression they always use for supplementary or explanatory information in sentence. Supplementary or explanatory information in sentence. Suppose. We have a number of words. You can see use a comma to set up a parenthetical expression. Example given he is fast. I believe he work hard. You can see a number of the list of suppose of course, therefore, I suppose, after all, by the way, for example, furthermore, therefore. Okay, I believe, however, I suppose, in fact, moreover, nevertheless, and so on. These are these are what the example of parenthetical expression because they they provide what supplementary or explanatory information in a sentence. Use comma to set up words of direct address. Words of direct address. Words of direct address are names, titles, terms of respect, and phrases used to address an individual. Suppose example given thank you, comma is here. Okay, thank you, sir. So, sir, you know, this is title for your teaching. So, by the way, 
we will use comma okay to set up words of direct address so thank you sir sir so this is title thank you sir thank you atisha thank you atisha well done atisha for your help so this is what this is words of direct address the next point should be memorize commas with non essential clauses and non essential participle phrases participle phrases you know participle phrases okay suppose sir is my and sir sabir who are the teacher of english are our favorite teachers so this is non essential non essential mean they just gave us information not obligatory but just supplementary or explanatory information okay another example for this one participle phrases suppose i can give one example looking at the door looking at the door i saw my hello i saw my hello coming towards suppose here this is this is what this is participle phrase so with the help of this this comma is required this comma is required the next point which why you fought is use comma to set up non essential appositive appositive you know this is also informative okay suppose example the prime minister of pakistan shahbaz sharif so this is appositive because this is you know, informative or explanatory noun okay works for the betterment of our country said maryam so here this is appositive this is appositive okay so we have to use noun the one of the function of noun is appositive try your best comma with quotation you know comma is not an easy task commas can be used with quotation look here example given the teacher said pakistan is progressing day by day so here this is quotation okay so comma is here the next example the next use of comma comma in compound sentences we can use comma in compound sentences compound sentences mean to equal classes pakistan is our dear land and we will not leave it to its enemy or devastation so here you can see that this is conjunction and before conjunction you have what we have comma so this sentence is a compound sentence comma in date try to understand example august 30 2022 This is an example. When a date is the part of a sentence, use comma after the year. Look here. On August fourteen, nineteen forty-seven, Pakistan came into being. So here you can see that if it is alone, we don't need to don't have comma here. But if it is the part of a sentence, always use comma here. The next point: use the comma to set up the name of the city from the state or country. Very important point: use the comma to set up the name of the city from the Country. Look here, Monday in Pakistan. So you can see here comma. Okay. Then Islamabad and comma. So this one play. Use a comma after the salutation of a friendly letter and after the closing of a friendly or a formal letter. Use a comma after the salutation of a friendly letter and after the closing of a friendly or a formal letter. You can see you is truly. Dear Atisha, okay, you can use so you can see comma is here. The next point, use a comma between a personal name and abbreviation that follows. Look here, example, Shahbaz Sharif. Shahbaz Sharif. This is name followed by abbreviation P A. So this is very important. Abbreviation or initial. So we need. Use comma to separate words or phrases that might be confusing or misunderstood. 
The following points may be helpful. Remember, use a comma before the conjunction but or for when it may be mistaken for a preposition. Okay? If they are mistaken for a preposition, always use comma. Example given, I am grateful to you for you have helped me. Here this is conjunction, not preposition. So this is very important. Use a comma to separate a sh short introductive word phrase from the noun that follows it. Use a comma to separate a short introductive word phrase from the noun that follows it. Look, while speaking, Ali seems to be a native speaker. Ali seems to be a native speaker. This is important. So, comma is here. Then, another confusing structure to be simplified. Use a comma to set off repeated words. Use a comma to set off repeated, repeated words. In example given, he told that that man snatched my mobile. So look here, comma has been used. Comma has been used because repeated word is here. So whenever we have two consecutive words, so one should be set up with the help of what? With the help of comma. The next point, which is very important, use a comma after an introductory a word that could be mistaken for a preposition outside. Outside, the people who are standing in lines for their time. Outside here, you can see comma. The people who are standing in lines for their time. So this is a verb, and in this case, we should use comma. Another very important point: use a comma to indicate the words left out of parallel word group or uh, word groups. They separate the same structure. They separate the same structure. Suppose in this situation, the comma takes the place of a verb. We have parallel word. Okay, suppose we use one word, but there, you know, the same subject is involved here and some other more. Example given, saw the did MA English. Saw the did MA English. This is verb. And this is repeated here as well. So here this comma does the function of our social sciences means did is here. But this is what? This is understood. This is understood and for that particular structure we use comma. Okay, one more in number more than three digits. Two numbers so on okay, count whatever. So we use comma. We use comma. So today we have discussed about comma in detail. Now it is up to you to memorize these points and improve your writing. You will be able enough to write smoothly and correctly after memorizing after doing practice on the given points in detail. Thank you very much.